So you know how you can create groups or um, what they call teams here on Trello and why it's really a great way to keep yourself organized. So when you come to your homepage, you have starred boards at the top. And these are boards that you basically make to be your favorites, the ones that you click on and check the most. Then um, I have one labeled personal boards. Everything else might just be like in one big dump if you haven't like given it a team. So I'll show you that in a second. Then you have, uh, I have one that's called business. I have one for the League of Extraordinary Moms. I have one for our beta test group with all of the um, sample boards. Uh, I have one for templates that maybe I've seen on other people's uh, Trello boards and I've copied, but I'm not ready to use them. And it's really cool because you could do a couple things. You could just hit create new board this way and type it in and create the board. So here I've made another personal board. And if I just go back to my home page, it's right here. You also, um, when you make a board, so let's go back into this board I just made actually. When you make a board, say you want to um, copy it or move it somewhere under your menu, you just go to more and you can copy that board maybe somewhere else. Like say you have it in the templates, you can just type it, the name and then move it to the team where you would like it. And this keeps it super organized. We'll go back to our home page. And as you can see, you can decide whether they're personal and only you can see them or something like this. Um, let's go to this one here. This is my business board. So you see it says members. My personal board does not say members because I'm the only one on this team. If I click here, it has other people that I can invite to my team. Um, I have someone that was like a guest. Oh, it's just Butler Bot, but you can put someone here. You can just put their email in and it would invite them to be a part of your team. When they're a part of your team, all right, so let's just go into um, this one. So if they're a part of my team, what I could do is I could click on this and I could go to members and I could assign them to it and then they're in charge of that. So that's a really great reason you'd want that. When you go to search over here under boards, it's all separated, super easy for you. Um, these are recent boards. As you can see, look, I have birthday party planner under one team, organize your life beta, but I also have it under templates. So I've just moved the board and it keeps it super easy and you can group them that way. If you want to send someone a link, oopsies, let me go back into this one. All right, I'm going to go into, we'll go into this birthday party planner. So say I wanted to make somebody um, a part of this team. As you can see here, it says team visible. This means anyone on the team can see it. I can just hit plus here. This is another way to add them to just this board, not the whole team. These are the people on my team. I can pick one of their names and they're able to edit and see it. If they are a member of this team, though, they already have access. This is just like another way to kind of add them. You can add all the team members. I can view the members. Or if I click here, I can invite them. It gives me a link, and that sends them directly to this board. I can also just copy sample at gmail.com. Wait a second. Nobody comes up. So, um, you know, I can invite them that way. Uh, oh, there is a person. But it'll say they haven't logged in recently, and it searches all of Trello. So that's a really cool way to group your boards. Um, again, it makes it really easy and organized here, easy to look at. Um, and if you want to um, star a board, you just click this little star, and you will see right here, this one moves right up here, and it becomes a favorite. And then you click it to unstar. So as you can see, I want to show you, this board has no other members, correct? I'm sorry, this team has no members. But when you go to the board, I've got a bunch of members because this is a bridesmaids list we made for my sister, so it has all the bridesmaids on it. It is a private board, so only the people who I send this actual link to can get it. So that's a really good way that you can um, make boards that you want to keep for yourself, but add them. So you have the option, again, to either add the members to the whole team, add them to a specific board, and then group them easy. So hope that helps, and let me know if you have any questions.